Is Grand Theft Auto 5 a dead game in 2020? Let's discuss. Jackknife Finnegan coming at you once again with another GTA 5 online video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and don't forget to hit that post notification bell so you do not miss an update, upload, or a live stream as they cover everything Grand Theft Auto 5. If you did not get a notification for this, make sure you follow my social medias, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Twitch, all that Jackknife Finnegan, much appreciated. So, all the time, you guys, when I stream Grand Theft Auto 5 online or when I stream GTA, I always get, I'd say, a handful of comments in the chat saying, Why are you streaming this game? It's dead. Or I get comments on my videos, Why are you talking about this game? It's dead. And I'm always dumbstruck by those comments, or I'm always wondering, you know, I have 100 people or more in the chat, and this guy comes in and says, GTA 5 is dead, and I'm thinking, I have all these people in here, how is it dead? But, maybe, I, maybe he knows something that I don't know. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to look up and see, is GTA 5 Online dead? Why not check into it and see what other people think? And, you know, maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm in denial that Grand Theft Auto 5 is dead or not dead. So I thought, you know what, let's look it up and let's see what people say. And this is what people say. So when you look up, is GTA a dead game? It says right here, right out the gate. Absolutely not. At time of writing it, it is the seventh highest player count on Steam with around 46,000 current active players. And this is an older game. So right there it already says it is not a dead game because it has over 46,000 plus still active playing the game even after years of it being out. Also another thing is we all thought Grand Theft Auto 5 was killing their player base by resetting their accounts. I've noticed a lot of those players, some of them did give up. Some of them say, you know what, I'm done. Grand Theft Auto 5 sucks. I'm not going to be a part of it. I'm done with it. But I know a lot of other people that say, you know what, I got reset. I did. It was my fault. I messed up. And they fired up and began from the bottom to work their way to where they are now. So the reset really didn't stop them from killing the game either. So, I mean, I don't know what to think. I don't think it's a dead game, honestly. I want to know what you guys think in the comments. Is Grand Theft Auto 5 truly dead? Let me know what you think in the comments. Now let's look at this one. Is GTA Online still worth playing in 2020? And it says, due to this, GTA 5 Online is still the best open world game available to purchase in 2020. Yes, a lot of speculations are going towards the release of the next GTA 6, but Rockstar Games are a long way off creating the game, and the game could take another 2-3 years to get released. So that right there says, this is one of the highest selling open world video games in 2020 as well. And it's going to be another high selling game for PlayStation 5 as well. Now, why is that? Why is Grand Theft Auto 5 not dying? Why will it not die? And I know the reason why. And you guys aren't even thinking about this on this type of level. The reason why Grand Theft Auto 5 has succeeded and has not died is they lack competition. Now let's think. I know you're thinking, well, Jack, you know, they have, uh, they have Watch Dogs. Well, Watch Dogs wasn't online. Watch Dogs didn't really give you the online feel that Grand Theft Auto 5 does. And you're thinking, well, Sleeping Dogs, Jack. Well, Sleeping Dogs was an open world game, lacked the online. Then you're thinking, well, Saints Row. Saints Row did give Grand Theft Auto 5 a run for the money. But where is Saints Row now? I rest my case. I don't, I'm not trying to be rude. I love Saints Row. Saints Row is an amazing game. And they are working on another game. And they're phenomenal. But Grand Theft, Grand Theft Auto 5 took the cake. They won. Uh, and they continue to win. It, it's because they lack competition. Now, one thing that is scary that's coming up 
is you got Cyberpunk 2077 coming out, open world game, futuristic. It's going to have online play. It might actually not Grand Theft Auto 5 out of the, the top tier. Also, you got Watch Dogs coming out. Another open world game with online capability might knock Grand Theft Auto 5 out of the out of the ranks. But we won't know until none of, until that happens. So right now, this is the best open world video game on the market. The best one. And then it says, is GTA 5 still popular? Because of its consistent popularity, which is booming now since it was given for free recently, which was a genius move, by the way, from Rockstar Games for allowing uh, Epic to give this game away for free on PC. If you missed it, I'm sorry. You missed out on probably one of the best deals that I've seen on Epic Games. But they did. They gave it away for free, which is insane. It says, GTA continues to dominate the gaming industry just take a look at all the lesser known Grand Theft Auto facts that will show you how much thought is put into GTA 5. I mean, look at I mean, I'm reading it. I'm reading it and they're saying it is still worth playing. It still dominates. It's one of the best open world games on the market right now because it lacks competition. Now, if competition was coming into the scene, we might lose Grand Theft Auto 5. But guess what? GTA isn't stupid. They've already prepared for this. They're like, okay, we're going to get PS5. We're going to get Watch Dogs The Legion, Cyberpunk 2077. They're going to come out on the next-gen consoles, and they're going to compete against Grand Theft Auto 5. Well, guess what's happening? Those games might succeed and might beat Grand Theft Auto 5, but guess what happens? So let's say Cyberpunk beats them. Let's say Watch Dog beats them. Well, guess what's coming out? Grand Theft Auto 6. And boom! They're right back in it, boys. They're right back in it. And then it's like Cyberpunk who? Watch Dogs what? And, I mean, these guys aren't idiots. They're going to sit back in the weeds and they're going to watch Cyberpunk. They're going to watch Watch Dogs. They're going to see if their empire falls down. Because once the Empire starts falling down, guess what comes rolling out? Grand Theft Auto 6 like a rhino tank, baby. Brrrah, brrrah, blasting the competition. And everyone's going to be like, Watch Dogs, what? Cyberpunk, where? And in and, and all reality, also, I'm not too sure on Cyberpunk. The reason why I say this is because we watch Grand Theft Auto 5 get futuristic cars you know the mk2 um you know the the laser guns the up and atomizer and they're not really accepted in the grand theft auto 5 community they're kind of like eh, you know they're there but no one really likes them they're not as you know accepted as other things in the community now i know what you're thinking well cyberpunk is a futuristic game we already know we're getting futuristic stuff We'll see. You know, we're going to see what happens. We, we have literally a couple weeks, and we will find out who wins. Does Cyberpunk win? Is, is Watch Dogs going to win? It's going to be a very interesting two months. And I'm talking November, and I'm talking December. This is what's going to be the pivotal moment in Grand Theft Auto V's lifespan. So we will find out. We will find out. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Am I crazy? Um, is this game dead? Do you think those other games are going to dominate this game? I mean, what other, you know, what are, you, what are you thinking? Talk to me in the comments. I answer every comment. So let me know what you guys think. Because I am kind of curious. I want to know. I love reading your guys' comments because it sparks discussion. And it's interesting. And I, and I value your guys' opinions. And I enjoy it. It's fun. So, guys, if you like the video, please leave a like. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that post notification bell so you do not miss an update, upload, or a live stream. Also, guys, if you want to get some sweet merch, go to jackknifefinnegan.com. Jackknifefinnegan.com. I sell customized clothing from shirts, lawn sleeve shirts, lawn sleeve shirts with hoodies, um, hoodies. I sell COVID masks. I sell beanies. 
I sell anything you want, absolutely customizable. If you find a design, we could definitely customize to our best ability. So remember, jackknifefinnegan.com. And with that being said, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm out of here. Boo!